welcome to this mini read. This is going to be your energy with your person and you. So what we're going to do is we're going to get your energy, which is here, how you're connected to this relationship. We're going to get your person's energy and how they're connected to the relationship. We're going to get both of your connections together or your energy together, as well as some advice from Spirit on this bottom row. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with your energy. We'll pull all the cards out. Okay, so we have the chariot, which is about motivation and willpower. The devil, this is being chained to some kind of toxicity. And then we have the three of wands, which is about the future. So right away here, I'm getting that you are going back and forth with this relationship, whether it's going to last or if you want to be in it, you know, if it's worth it or not, basically. So there must be some kind of trouble or you having some kind of red flags or doubts or something, because it's like you're in one minute and you're out the next. This is for the future. You're seeing it long term. So let's see what their energy is like. Okay, so they're not clear about something. They're missing something here. They, there's um, some clarity is needed with them. So they have the Two of Swords. Oh, wow, they do have the Sun, though, and that's a happy card. And then we have, I hope, but then they have the Lack card, Five of Pentacles. So right away, again, I feel like they're not seeing something clearly. And it might be because of your energy of about going back and forth, whether you want to be in this relationship or you don't. One day you do, one day you don't. So you might be cold one minute, hot the next. And, you know, with you not seeing it as the future, you might just be not really invested in it too much. So they're missing something here. They're not seeing something. And it could be your back and forth, you know, it might keep them confused. Um, I do see that, you know, they have this sun card so they're they're kind of happy i think they're just like really confused and they're feeling like they're missing something here and i do feel like it could be they're just picking up on your energy um so let's see what the connection energy is here oh okay yeah see there's some kind of sneakiness here so something is not being revealed or there's some kind of manipulation or de uh, or um or some deception something is uh, you know this so far this isn't very good but let's say oh yeah now we have the nine of swords so now we have the anxiety and worry and then we have the five of cups which is disappointment yeah so this doesn't seem like it's a relationship that you guys really are invested in it's not really making you completely happy i mean they seem happy but um they are confused and feel a, la a lack of something so i don't know if they're fully happy either um this could be just that they're a leo as well so you know a leo it could be a leo um, um, or, you know, mask it really masculine because the Leo card actually is strength, but this always reminds me of the Leo because Leo's uh, planet is the sun as well as, um, you know, this could be a masculine card. So they could be very manly, um, masculine in general, if it's a female, but there's something really, uh, yeah, it's just the, the two of you together. It's not mixing very well. But let's go ahead and see what the, um, advice is from spirit. So we have the King of Swords. The strength, there's that Leo card again. And then we have the uh, Knight of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting like here, if this is time, this, that spirit in the universe is telling you, it's time to move, take action to move up towards your passions. So if this isn't something that you're passionate about and you're not really feeling happy about, it might be not like not something to invest too much of your time in because, you know, you could be missing out on other things as well. Um, and this is standing in your integrity and your strength. Um, so, you know, if you need to, you know, break it off, maybe you're just in it because you don't want to cut things off or you don't want to, um, front, confront this person, you know, spirit is saying, you know, stand in your strength and your integrity, you know, what's best to do. And then the King of Swords is definitely about living your truth, um, speaking your truth. So if there's something that's lacking here, it's not feeling good and, uh, you know, it's just keeping you confused or confused, you're back and forth. It might be something that you need to have a discussion with and, and just move on and find somebody that's better suited so that is your message thanks so much for watching it's not a very good one but you know that's how it goes sometimes we don't always meet the right people so i really feel like this is just somebody you're dating and it's just like you're not really seeing much of a future here you know like i said you go back and forth and i feel like maybe this back and forth energy is um you might not feel like you have this deep connection with them or really even you know are very compatible but, you know, maybe it's a relationship, you know, so you're not alone and stuff, you know. But anyway, that is my message for you, the universe's uh, um, advice. And thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.